In the review and edit narrations video, we looked at how you could edit a narration at the very beginning or at the very end. However, if you wanted to remove or edit out a section from the middle, you can't because at this stage PowerPoint does not have that functionality. We do, however, have a workaround that could help in a situation like this. Now before we jump into the workaround, there is one caveat that I feel I must tell you about and that is that if your slide has any animation, this workaround will not be effective. So for example, I've added animation to this slide so that the bullet points will appear as and when I click on them. So I will need to remove these animations before I export the presentation to video. Just note though that this will only be necessary if you end up using the workaround that I am about to take you through. Keep watching and it will all make sense, I promise. So to start off, I'm going to re-record the narration on this slide and make a mistake in the middle, that is between the first and second bullet points, so that we can then look at how we might remove that mistake from the middle of the narration. To start recording, we can either go to the Recording tab and pick Record Slideshow or we can go to the Slideshow tab and then go to Record Slideshow and pick Record from Current Slide. So here we are back at the regular recording interface and I'm simply going to hit Record. So before I actually read the content on the slide, I'm just going to ramble on for a little while so that we can Look at how we remove this bit at the beginning and then I'll start. What is solar power? Let's explore this. Energy created by the heat and light of the sun is called solar energy. So there you go, I've just narrated the first bullet point and let's assume everything I'm saying right now is what I want to remove later. And now let's continue on to the next bullet point. Solar power is produced when energy from the sun is converted into electricity or used to heat air, water or other substances. So I've finished the first and second bullet points and everything I'm saying right now can also be edited out. So let's stop the recording now. What we can do next is simply hit the X button there or the escape key and that would bring us back to the regular PowerPoint interface and we can see that the new recording is there. So let's right click on this, pick trim and let's quickly review this recording. So before I actually read the content on the... So there's the bit of the rambling. I think I started the actual proper narration somewhere here. Let's have a listen. What is solar power? Yes, so that's the spot. So what I'll do is as usual, I'll bring the green in point marker just there. Let's check that. What is solar power? Yes, so that's perfect and I think I continue up to about here-ish. So there you go. Uh, yes, that's right. This is where we've got the unnecessary bit of audio in the middle and this is where I've ended the first bullet point. So I'll simply grab the red mark out point and bring that over here and let's have a listen and see whether that's all good. What is solar power? Let's explore this. Energy created by the heat and light of the sun is called solar energy. So that's all good. The first bullet point is fine. So obviously the bit there is what we really wanted to remove. And we are also going to leave out the second bullet point, which is in this sort of area. So first off, let's make a quick note of the new duration, which is 9.7 seconds, which is approximately 10 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll then come to our Transitions tab, come up to the Advanced slide in the Timing area and make sure that we adjust the timing here to approximately, let's say, 11 seconds. Because the new duration of this recording is now 10 seconds, we'll just make that 11 so that we have a one second padding. Next, we need to remove any animations that we may have on this slide. As I mentioned before, we need to do that so that this workaround will be effective. To do that, we'll go to the Animations tab and that then shows us the animations here. I'll simply pick this element and then come over here and pick None. So that's gotten rid of all the animations on that particular text box. If necessary, you can pick the individual animations and then uh, pick None, which will get rid of them one by one. Now that we've done that, we need to duplicate this slide. To do that, we can simply 
pick the slide, pick control C and control V. If you were on a Mac, you'd be using command C, command V. Then we'll go to the duplicated slide, pick the narration, right click, pick trim, and you'll notice that in the duplicated slide, we still have the first bullet point that we edited in. All we need to do now is to change these in and out markers to make sure that we get the narration of the second bullet point here. So let's do that. I'll simply move the out marker over to the end here. Grab the in marker and bring it somewhere here because I believe this is where I started the narration of the second bullet point. Let's have a listen. Solar power is produced when energy from the... Perfect. So that's where the second bullet point starts. That's where all the rambling and the unnecessary audio is. So I'm effectively leaving that unnecessary audio out. I've got the correct in point for the second bullet point. Let's continue playing this. Sun is converted into electricity or used to heat air, water or other substances. Stop there. Bring my out point marker there. And I think we're just about right. So what we've done effectively is in the first copy of the slide, we made sure that we got the first bullet point. And in the second copy of the slide, we've made sure that we've edited in the second bullet point. So by doing that, we're effectively leaving out the unnecessary audio from the middle here. So I'll make note of the new duration, which is approximately 11 seconds. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. Come to my Transitions tab come to the timing area and make sure that we have the correct timing set there. I'm not going to add any additional padding there. You can if you want to. And that's it. So we are now ready to export this presentation to video so that we can check whether our little workaround has worked. I'll go to File, Export, Create Video. I'll stick with the HD 720p size. Make sure I've got Use Recorded Timings and Narrations picked. Five seconds is fine for the slides that don't have any narrations or multimedia. I'll then click Create Video. Pick my folder and then click Save. We'll then see the progress bar here. Once the export is completed, we'll open up the folder and then check the video file. Understanding Solar Power Hi, I'm Kevin and I'll be your teacher this semester. So if you have any queries, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. What is solar power? Let's explore this. Energy created by the heat and light of the sun is called solar energy. Solar power is produced when energy from the sun is converted into electricity or used to heat air, water or other substances. So there you go. I'm going to stop there. As you would have noticed, that worked. The only thing that I might go back and fix is I'd reduce the gap between bullet point one and bullet point two. And we can simply do that by going to the first slide and then possibly reducing that duration down to maybe 10 seconds, which would result in there being a lesser gap between slide three and slide four. You could also reduce unnecessary gaps by refining your edit points in the trim audio interface. So I hope that workaround to remove unnecessary bits of audio from the middle of a narration helps.